One two coming. And the slider in there. Strike three. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. On the pitch. But he didn't move. Mets are celebrating. The Marlins are arguing. This is not the worst thing in the world that can happen, but it is pretty darn close. The Mets are hosting the Marlins in New York. It is the bottom of the ninth inning. The bases are loaded, and there are two strikes on the batter. The umpire, having initially rung the batter up on three strikes, changes mechanics halfway through and communicates that the pitched ball hit the batter and awards the batter first base. Official Baseball Rule 505B2, and every level has a similar rule, states that the batter is entitled to first base without liability to be put out when he is touched by a pitch ball which he is not attempting to hit unless A. The ball is in the strike zone when it touches the batter, or B. The batter makes no attempt to avoid being touched by the ball. If the ball is in the strike zone when it touches the batter, it shall be called a strike, whether or not the batter try to avoid it. But if the ball is outside of the strike zone when it touches the batter, it shall be called a ball if he makes no attempt to avoid being touched. In this situation, the umpire initially called strike three. That's Ron Culpa's strike three mechanic with a left-handed batter. And under that, 505B2A, if the ball's in the strike zone, it doesn't matter if the batter made an attempt to get out of the way. It doesn't matter if the batter leaned in. No matter how the batter's body got into the strike zone, if the ball was in the strike zone when it touched the batter, by rule, automatically, that is a dead ball and it is a strike. In this situation, strike three, and we go, to, we go on. But if the ball was located out of the strike zone, then, you, then only then does it matter whether the batter leaned into it or made an attempt to get out of the way. Only then does that judgment come into play. So, what I hear is that the Marlins either have or will protest this game. And if they're protesting this game, there's only one way to win that protest. Because as the Mets stated, this is a judgment call and it's not reviewable. Pitch location's not reviewable. Technology is not good yet. We've had many videos about how the tech is not quite there yet. The intent of the batter, whether the batter made an attempt to avoid being touched by the ball, leaned in, that's not reviewable either. Do I think that could be reviewable? Probably. That should be looked at. But for now, based on the rules that we have now, the only way that the Marlins win this protest is if the plate umpire indeed determined that that pitch was located in the strike zone and called it strike three. And the video shows that the umpire called it strike three before changing his mind and doing this and pointing to first base. So what that tells me from a rules perspective, from an officiating perspective, is that the umpire must have instantaneously second guessed the decision and decided that the pitch was located outside of the strike zone after all, and that the batter did not lean in. The batter made an avoidance, a maneuver, or didn't have time to do that. But the only way the Marlins win the protest is if in his report, there will be a report, there will be a phone call. This is pretty significant. The umpire probably feels sick to the stomach because this is really difficult. But the only way the Marlins win the protest is if in his report to the league, the umpire states that he ruled the pitch a ball and states that this half mechanic before changing to this one was made in error because if the umpire states in the report that he ruled the pitch strike three before giving the batter first base just because the batter got hit that would be an incorrect rule interpretation and basis for affirming the protest and ordering the game replayed from the point of that incorrect rule interpretation and that will cost the umpire if that's the case as well. We don't do these videos too often because these plays don't happen that often. When your job is to know the rules, you usually get the rules right. And again, the only thing, what I truly think happened here is that the plate umpire must have initially, instinctively called it a strike because 
it was a strike. But after seeing the aftermath and the batter getting hit by the pitch, psyched himself out, second-guessed himself, and incorrectly changed his call from strike three to, oh, that pitch was located out of the strike zone. The batter did not lean into it. And the batter must have made an attempt to avoid being touched by the ball or otherwise couldn't make such an attempt. And thus, the batter is entitled to first base because the pitch was out of the strike zone, not in the strike zone like I initially thought it was because I was wrong. Except that factually, you were right. The pitch was in the strike zone. Go with your gut. Your first call was correct. And had you stayed with it, because this takes a lot of guts, a lot of gumption to make this call. Had you stuck with the call of strike three, you would have had to say, time hit you, but you were in the strike zone when it did. I don't care if you leaned into it or not. The pitch touched you in the strike zone. That's strike three. You're out. Let's keep playing. Tough video. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports for more analysis, and we'll see you on the site.